Pottery is an ancient tradition in Mexico. Many clay vessels and figures have been unearthed near the centers of Mesoamerican's early civilizations. Clay pots and jars were important for cooking and also for collecting and storing water. Religious idols, musical instruments, and toys were also fashioned out of clay. Several centers of pottery production were already well established by the time of the Spanish conquest in 1521. New forms and techniques introduced by the Spanish added to the richness and diversity of Mexican pottery. Today, handicrafts are an important part of Mexican economy. Handmade pottery is produced all over the country and is popular with the Mexican as well as the tourists. A large amount is also exported abroad. Since the introduction of plastics and metalware, there has been a steady decline in the demand for functional pottery and much of the output now is purely decorative. In this video, we will look at three different centers of pottery production. Texcoco in the state of Mexico, San Bartolo in Oaxaca, and Tunala in Jalisco. Each has its own distinctive traditions, styles and techniques. In some villages situated around the ancient pyramids of Teotihuacan, artisans make replicas of pre-Hispanic pottery figures, musical instruments and idols. Local clay is mixed with a little cement and sand so that it resembles the original pre-Hispanic pottery. The replicas are made using molds. This is a very ancient technique and was used by the potters of Mexico's early civilizations. Mario Cortez told me that the idea of making the replicas was born 15 years ago. The first replicas were copied from photographs and examples of pre-Hispanic pottery in a museum here in Texcoco. Musical instruments first began to be elaborated in clay about 2,500 years ago. They played a major role in pre-Hispanic rituals and ceremonies, like this water drum, and flute, Jose Luis and his family do not have their own supply of clay. They must buy their clay in dried blocks. When the clay is broken up in water, the clay particles remain suspended in the water, while impurities sink to the bottom. After being filtered, most of the water evaporates away, leaving a soft, workable clay.
These figures are more intricate. They are made in various parts, which are assembled before the finishing touches are put on. They are left to dry for several days before being loaded into the wood-fired kiln ready for firing. The state of Oaxaca is situated in the southwest of Mexico, bordering on the Pacific Ocean. It is a dry and mountainous region. Many cacti grow here, as well as succulent fruit such as mangoes. About 60% of the inhabitants of the village of San Bartolo, Coyotepec, are potters. This man belongs to a famous family of potters. He is demonstrating how to make a jug using only his hands and a few simple implements. These methods have hardly changed in hundreds of years.